I'm pretty sure every Minecraft player has heard of Hypixel. Hypixel has had over 18 million unique logins and an average of 80,000 players online 24-7. I've always wanted to make my own server similar to Hypixel, so I decided that would be a good idea to make a bigger Minecraft server. Now, I didn't want to make some server that would have money put into it, so I wanted to make a server completely scratch and completely free. Now, obviously, I don't know how to code very well, so I did use plugins made by other people. I wanted to make the server a bit like Hypixel, which has multiple mini games and other plugins that help to make the server enjoyable and fun to play. This includes things like levels and parties. So the first thing I tried to do was to make a lobby. At the beginning of making this server, I didn't have any experience doing anything like this, so I decided I would try to use command blocks to teleport to places. But very quickly, I realised this wouldn't work very well because you always have to be at the command block to teleport to places. So the first plugin I implemented into the server was warps. This helped a lot, but there was this annoying feature that, which would be that it, it would take 10 seconds to warp and if you moved it cancelled the teleport. So after a few videos I found out that if you go into the plug plugins folder and then the folder of the plugin you want to modify, there is normally a config.yml which you can change the settings around to your liking. This small bit of information helped me out a lot. To make this server, I limited myself to only 1GB of RAM to run the server on, which for a couple people to play on is okay, but for more than 5-10 to 10, it can get pretty bad and can sometimes crash the server. The next thing I wanted to do in the server was to make a Bed Wars mini game. So I set up a warp and started to build a lobby for it. I started by watching a few videos by other people doing the same, and I found out that Screaming Bed Wars was a good plugin, but it didn't work very well on 1.8.9 which is the game version I wanted the server to run on, but I changed the server version to 1.15.2. Later on, I do add some plugins to take away the attack cooldown, but that is a bit later on. Midway building this, I realised I should have probably added world edit to the plugins to speed up the build by a lot. So I put together a small little test Bedwars map and tried out the Screaming Bedwars plugin, and I didn't feel like it was good enough, so I had to do a bit more research, join their Discord and found out they had another add-on slash plugin called SBA Hypixelify, which adds a team upgrades villager and also adds a ton of features like parties, which helps me make the server feel a lot more clean. Instead of making my own Bedwars maps, I decided I would just grab a zip folder of every Bedwars map schematic. So I tried to world edit them in using schematics, but it wouldn't work because I limited myself to one gigabytes of RAM and the server was getting overloaded. So I remembered I used a program called MC Edit before but I couldn't remember how to use it. So a video later and I managed to import schematics easily with MC Edit. I imported a few maps, but later I would add more just to finish up the server. Afterwards, I played a few Bedwars matches with my friends and it was fun and worked great, but the server missed a lot of features which I wanted to add. The first feature I wanted to add was the NPC you can click on to choose the map you wanted to play on. So I had to go through a whole day of working out how to do this because there was literally no videos on this but I managed to find someone and added them to Discord and they helped me make the NPCs. So next, I needed to work on the lobby because whenever someone logs onto the server, it would look like a mess. So I did a nice small building, which I added stats and stuff into for Bed Wars. Then I built another building for Sky Wars and added some NPCs for getting into other mini games. Next, I wanted to make a Sky Wars server and, and a practice server where you can just go on to, to PvP with no scores, advantages, levels or anything which would be just used to practice PvP on. So the first thing I worked on was getting a schematic for Skywars Lobby, and I just downloaded the Hypixel Skywars Lobby, just because every other lobby I found looked like it was made by a five-year-old, so I just went with the easy option. So I found a plugin and a video to watch on how to do this, so I got a schematic and made a Skywars map. I made two Skywars maps, but I might add more at a later date. The Skywars part of the server really didn't take too long, it was quite smooth sailing. But one issue I ran into was that whenever I died or went back to the lobby, I still had to join, I still had the join Skywars button. So I tried removing this problem, but it didn't work, so I just let it happen. The next thing I worked on was a lobby changer, a bit like Hypixels, but I had to get a plugin called Multiverse, which lets you move to different worlds within one server, which really helped with some of the lag I was experiencing, and also I had to run it for the server selector plugin. I had a bit of trouble with a few plugins I tried, but then I found Server Selector X, which was the best I found, because you can set each item to run commands and it ran really smooth. Once I had the Server Selector, I wanted to add more mini games to play with it, so I added Skyblock, 
Skyblock was super easy to set up with just a few commands. The next thing I needed to do was sort out ranks. They were super easy to sort out just by downloading a plugin and it allowed you to add permissions which was good because I wanted players with higher ranks to be able to fly. After sorting out the ranks I just went through and cleaned up some of the lobbies, added more detail. I might do another video on adding more mini games but for the moment I think Bed Wars Sky Wars practice, Skyblock and a lobby is fine. I was thinking about adding a Git PvP mini game but they all only really worked on Bungie servers. So next, I needed to test the server, so I'm going to show you some gameplay of the server next. 